Welcome to the Golden Experience, where we talk about real estate and the culture that surrounds real estate. Today we're going to deal with the culture aspect of real estate. We're going to deal with motivation. We're going to deal with how not to sell and just be yourself. I have a special guest today. His name is Jason Rafford. Jason is a sales strategist, the owner of Integrity Go, and entirely dedicated to leading a change in how the world does business. He's an Army veteran with over 20 years of sales experience. He holds a BS in marketing and two graduate certifications in entrepreneurship, uh, innovation, and business communications from Harvard. He created Integrity Go to bring integrity back to the salesperson through retaining business and sales teams. Welcome, Jason. Good, good intro. I appreciate that. Well, sales is professionally helping a person make a decision. It's all you're doing. I started with integrity. So, so we got that out the way in the very beginning. I'm not making up anything. I'm not just telling you stuff. You know, everything that I'm uh, doing is trying to get you to, to, to a point to where you can make a decision. And, and that decision is going to feel good to you. Like, yeah, that's the right thing to do. So you can't, you can't just make shit up in the beginning, in the middle of that, right? You, you got to actually be that person, you know, and you have to, to whatever you're representing, you have to be that. Because if you're putting up a facade and you're faking it, it's going to come out. It, it may not come out in the, in the first conversation, but it's going to come out somewhere in this process. And then you lose a customer, mm -hmm. you know. So if you're yourself, you don't, you don't have anything to lose because you're attracting people who are attracted to you. You know, um, the best example of this is is uh, is Donald Trump. Ah, Donald ah, Trump ah. talks to a very the capital is burning right person. now. By the way, <laughs> you see, right? He talks to a very specific person. He's not talking to me, and nothing that he's doing, right? <laughs> He knows that and I know that. You know, uh, he's talking to a very specific person. These people go, hey, this guy gets me. Hey, this guy understands. And and he lost the election two months ago and they still out here tripping, right? I, you know, I've said this from the beginning. He was a reality TV show star. Mm -hmm. And he came into presidency with the same level of uh, energy. And, and he I, was on wrestling. And he was on wrestling. <laughs> and I said to people, I said, Whatever he says, why are you surprised? Right. You saw this on TV. That's right. I don't know how many years. You got in there and you think it was something was going to be different? <laughs> That's right. You know, um, but he understands who his he target does. is. Mark, he does. He, he knows who he is. Nothing is by mistake, Susan. He's stupid. That's, That's right. That's I said right. this, and a lot of people don't like this when I said this. I said, other than Barack Obama's campaign on social media was was a brilliant campaign. Forget about what you think about him. Mm -hmm. The campaign and how he did it was brilliant. Mm -hmm. His was the other one that was the most brilliant. All he had to do was say something that people thought was outrageous, and he got free press coverage. All and everybody time. ran to it, yep. and y'all thought he was dumb and stupid. He he was. It was a masterful campaign. Oh yeah. From that standpoint, forget yeah. about the politics. I'm not even getting into that. No, he didn't. He not on this show. He, but. he still <laughs> doesn't know anything about politics. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea. But but what he wanted to accomplish, he did. And but he used he used the the, the marketing and that persona and, yeah. and and all that to 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 leverage votes. You know, um, I'm a, this, I haven't said this in front of a bunch of people, but but I'm going to say this now. Listen to this. Trump can come out right now. Uh, if he'd have did this uh, prior to the 2020 election, it'd have been magnificent. If Trump would have came out and said, "I'm not racist. I love the the brown people and the Mexicans. I wasn't really serious about closing the borders. I just wanted to shine a spotlight on America. I wanted you to see who you are underneath." Wow. <laughs> All of these policy wow. changes and everything that I'm doing, I just <laughs> want you to see. This is what you are. And now that we've done that, let me start signing these bills. And we're going to, you know, make sure that everybody is protected in this country. We're going to make sure that everybody feels safe and everybody got to say so. And I'm going to so support the black community. I'm going to support the Latino community. And uh, I'm going to make sure that, that we all come together so we can actually be one country under God and divisible. Mm -hmm. If he did that before the election, greatest 
president of all time. All time. <laughs> but all you do it. It's all that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I get from yeah from the standpoint of just catering to you to your to your to the people that uh, that you you resonate with and being the Pied Piper man. Yeah. Yeah. So so when we talk when we when we we turn this into a, a a marketing conversation, he knew exactly who he was talking to. He he knew how to keep that that target audience engaged with them and support them. Yep. You know, um, this dude was still doing. Um, uh, rallies like you—you you already the president. Why are you still traveling to one rally? You already. I think that's some, some, something he kind of did. Was. This perpetual pack campaigning. So so now yeah, mm-hmm. but he was the first one that I seen do it right, and um, but he stayed on the go, connecting with that core audience, and uh, he held on to him. He still got him, you know. Lost, lost the election. He's still like, nah, we didn't lose. We gonna we gonna fix this some kind of way. Washington, he's burning it. He's uh, Mark, uh, from a marketing standpoint, Trump, Trump really understood, it and, he, and he stayed. And then when you talk about the branding and the positioning, it's 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 it's, it's, it's brilliant stuff. Dagger hands. You see the uh, Trump was already a brand. I got I got that receipt for the stimulus thing, mm-hmm. and it was like from Donald Trump. Oh yeah, that was. I, I was like, <laughs> what? You said I don't know. I gave you. <laughs> I gave this to you. Okay. I spent it well. I say. <laughs> right, right. It was so weird, man. Right? But 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 that's 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 the that's how he moves, you know. Uh, it's not surprising. The cult of personnel. Yeah. So and this show was sponsored by again Blind Line Apparel. I have excellent on purpose. Go see, go check out Blind Line on Instagram. Uh, there's more to come from from Blind Line. Again, I thank my guest Jason Radford. The million dollar strategist. When you get around him, you're gonna be motivated. <laughs> Talk to him, Jay. You wanna say something in, in regards? Hey, find me. I'm I'm on everything. Uh, uh, integrity go for the business name. Jason Integrity on everything else. Thank you for watching the Golden Experience. I am Jonathan Golden. Thank you for watching and God bless you.